Item number AEP005. Enclosure designation. Oriens. Threat classification. Anom02. Adaptive enclosure procedures. AEP005 is to be stored in Locker 38 when not in use. All personnel with clearance of level 1 and above may spectate the bi-weekly war games. No betting is strictly prohibited. Use of AEP-005 is only authorized in blast-hardened locations. See Incident 038-3. Description. AEP-005 is a large gray bin containing approximately 1,000 plastic soldier figurines, along with dozens of different structures and vehicles, divided into four separate armies bearing different uniforms. These armies are the Wehrmacht, U.S., Imperial Japan, and the Soviet Union. All four uniforms are identical to those issued during World War II. New figurines identical to those removed will regenerate at an average speed of five figurines per minute. Upon removal from the bin, the figurines, hereafter referred to as AEP-005-01, will immediately become sentient and follow the orders given by the one who removed them. If no orders are given by the subject, then AEP-005-01 will act on their own initiative, establishing a chain of command. AEP-005-01's first action after forming a chain of command is to establish an HQ. While able to make use of the structures provided by AEP-005, they are perfectly capable of constructing their own structures. An HQ typically includes an officer's building, a barracks, a field hospital, a vehicle depot, an air pad runway, and a central flagpole. After the completion of the HQ, AEP-005-01 will begin construction of vehicles suitable for use in exploration. Upon completion, AEP-005-01 will deploy exploration teams to various strategically sound locations and begin establishing outposts. This behavior will remain largely unchanged until they encounter another country. Upon encountering what are considered foreign powers, AEP-005-01 instances have shown the ability to communicate and perform complicated political activities, such as defining borders, negotiating, performing espionage, and organizing joint exercises. If communications break down, instances of AEP-005-01 will begin preparing for war. If not prevented, a declaration of war will inevitably occur. Upon a declaration of war, AEP-005-01 instances will immediately launch an R&D program in an attempt to increase their fighting force. This has resulted in the creation of both historically accurate and inaccurate creations. Weaponry created by AEP-005-01 instances become increasingly advanced the longer they remain active. Modern firearms, aircraft carriers, Ospreys, Apaches, and, in one instance, even laser-based weaponry have been seen. Like with their ability to perform politics, AEP-005-01 have shown to be capable of highly complex tactics. During combat, it is revealed that instances of AEP-005-01 fire live ammunition instead of plastic. Even ammo fired by infantry can prove fatal to humans. AEP-005-1's wars are brutal and surrender is uncommon. The only time such an event would occur is when their HQ flag is captured, at which point instances of AEP-005-01 will unanimously surrender. Access Incident 038-3 During a bi-weekly wargame viewing, after the US flag was destroyed, instead of surrendering, AEP-005-01 instances retreated to a series of nearby bunkers that had been constructed. Following this retreat, Dozens of hidden silos opened, launching nuclear missiles, which proceeded to level the room, destroying all AEP-005-01 instances. Doctor. Holy. Redacted. 